Welcome back to Dylan Pickups. We got some cool new stuff around. First of all, we got a new Fuchs 112 combo. This thing is a fantastic amplifier. I'll tell you about it here in a little bit. But the main player today we want to talk about is the Nikita V. Uh, not so much the guitar itself. This thing is, besides the fact, probably my favorite guitar ever. Like ever, ever, ever. I love this thing. I don't know what it is, man. It's the way that the neck feels, uh, the way it plays. Um, the pickups are unreal, which is what, really what we want to talk about today. Um, it's a Babinga top. It is chambered on the top and the bottom, and then it's a neck through in the middle. Um, a Babinga back also. So it's just super balanced. I mean, um, obviously I have to play with a strap, but you know what? This type of guitar, a lot of times the headstock will fall on you. Man, it's just it's just so comfortable. Um, I I didn't think I was gonna like it as much as I I do, and it I've just completely fallen in love with it. The main thing we want to talk about today, though, is the pickups. Dylan pickups, center punches. This is an Al Nico five humbucker. Um, I will say for my pickups that this is a medium to high output humbucker. It is approximately 11K when it's completed, um, which really sounds high. However, um, I don't know what it is. Something in my hands. I believe that it's in my hands. When we make this stuff, um, it doesn't come out like a normal high output humbucker. This one in particular, though, is very interesting. The way we wound it is the screw side and the slug side are two completely different resistances. Um, we used a couple of different wires. We were able to keep the thing really quiet and give you that mid-range center punch. That's why we call it the center punch humbucker. I really wanted to give it a PAF style tone, but not so harsh on the high end and more output. Um, and the idea really sprung from a pet peeve that I have, and that is that I don't like humbuckers when they're coil split because they sound like a half a humbucker. That drives me insane. You lose a lot of output. It just sounds too, too weak and too thin. And as cool as you want that feature to be, to have a single coil tone on a humbucker guitar, to me, it just never really worked that well. So that's why I designed these. The tone was almost a cool side benefit. They sound fantastic. But what I really wanted was to be able to have a guitar that you could coil split a humbucker and have have it sound like a whole pickup not a half a humbucker let me show you what I am talking about so this is our neck humbucker tone <laughs> single coil tone. Very little to no loss in output when we go from our single coil or humbucker to our single coil tone. That was on the neck pickup. I think that is where it really, really sounds good. Um, and it really, really works. I mean, that's, that's the main thing. In the bridge pickup, uh, same thing. Listen to this. Same thing. Now, we have a few different winds. This is obviously for a hum-hum guitar that 
is wired sort of like a Les Paul. I've got a couple of little things in here from Jersey Shore Guitar Garage, coil splitting, and then some phase stuff. Um, but we also have a wind for a couple of different positions, for instance, on a Telecaster. So what that means is we could go a single, single hum Telecaster, or we could go a hum, hum Telecaster, and be able to split them apart and make the thing actually really sound like a Tele when the, the coils are split. We're going to build a couple of guitars and show you that kind of stuff here in the near future, but that just gives you an idea of the kind of the, the flexibility of this guitar. Now, on the higher output side of things, um, this thing sounds like it should sound. <coughs> say uh, with all the pickups that we build um, and this is thing is no exception in this higher gain stuff if we make this thing super I'm gonna boost this high gain channel on this thing and just make it super gnarly even when you play uh, big chords like that uh, as high gain as this amp gets anyway um, you notice that you can still hear all the all the notes <laughs> super, super high gain um, with that amp from Fuchs. Same thing, it stays together. It doesn't get all goofy and mushy um, when, we, when we throw some high gain to it. So that really is what I really wanted to show you guys today was the Dylan Pickups Center Punch Humbucker. Um, it's available in a few different wines. Go to dylanpickups.com. You'll see the basic wind on our website. Shoot me an email if you've got a guitar you want to put this in uh, and we can make it specifically for that guitar. I think uh, we've got one that's fantastic for, like, a, like I said, like a single, single hum Telecaster or Stratocaster um, that will really, really work well in that bridge position. Um, we also have it for the neck position of a type of a guitar like that too. The idea being that you have an absolutely versatile guitar that really gives you the tone that you want um, and gives you a true single coil sound in the humbucker guitar. That's exactly what we're looking for. Um, make sure that you continue to check us out on YouTube at Dylan Pickups. Check us out at DylanPickups.com, our Facebook, all that kind of stuff. Check out Fuchs Audio Technology. They've been good enough to keep helping us out with this stuff. This stuff is fantastic. You have to go look at it. So until then, uh, we'll see you next week. <laughs>